Meantime, an organization that cares for children in Mississippi heard from the Pearl Police Chief about the dangers of human trafficking. 12 News' Jade Blexa has the story. Methodist Children's Home of Mississippi got a closer look at human trafficking with the Pearl Police Chief and Mississippians Against Human Trafficking. There's, there's one thing to be broken, there's one thing to have bad neighbors. You know, I can live with somebody having a bad neighbor, but leaving them broken, knowing I could have helped them, I can't do it. Pearl Police Chief Dean Scott did not hold back on the realities of human trafficking in cases he's worked in our own backyard. This is an issue that hits home for Chief Scott, whose daughter just turned 10 Monday. You know, due to some of her disorders, she's what they prey on. And I, I take it to heart, and that's why it's so heartfelt for me. The Mississippians Against Human Trafficking says there are also other signs to be aware of. Vulnerabilities that you would look for, such as lack of education, lack of family structure, poverty, kids in foster care targets. Um, those are vulnerabilities that we all need to be aware of, but what you would notice is a change in behavior. If it's what mine or your kid and they've been on their phone a lot and they're engaging in conversations with strangers and they have a sudden change in behavior. Lindsay Simmons, the executive director of the organization, says human trafficking happens in the streets, in the homes, and in church. And as the chief of police shared Tuesday night, the victims aren't just girls, they're boys too. And staff members inside the cafeteria will share what they learned with therapists across this campus. In Jackson, Jade Belexa, 12 News.